Hello everyone, today I will show you how to do a completed project. First of all, we need to make the required background image according to the need of the project. Then, we open the latest software, v7.620 for or above. Click New, and select the image resolution, that is consistent with the screen resolution, and select a storage path. After the selection is complete, we will import the background image made in advance. First, we need to generate the background image ICL icon file ICL. Click the Dwin ICL generator and select the background images. Click Generate ICL, then named it 32. Select Icon File and according to the size of the storage space, we named it 40. I will explain to you how to name the files with different storage sizes. If it is a 3 to M screen, there are a total of 0 127 storage spaces. The following is the storage location of each file. If it is a 16M screen, pay attention to the storage space of 063 locations. The rest of the naming method is the same as that of 32M. If it is an 8M screen, because the total storage space is small, the name of the background image should start on the 23. After introducing the storage space, let's start making the project. Here is an introduction to how for different effects are created through the controls. The first is image animation display. The second is data display and input. The third is text display and font color transformation. The fourth is icon transformation. Let's create an image animation. This can be used to create boot animation. First select picture animation display, then select start picture and stop picture. So that after demonstration is completed, it will stop to the picture interface we set. Then we make a page switch. Next, set up data display and input. Select the data variable control and set the variable address. The variable address of T5L starts from 1000, here we set 1000, then set the font color, font size, etc. After the setting is complete, do a touch setting. Set the same variable address and follow my steps to finish the settings. Select the digital keyboard and set the digital keyboard position. We need to assign a value to the keyboard. Find the page where the keyboard is located and select basic touch.
Here we can see the prompts with digital settings below, set according to the prompts. If it is a keyboard setting, we have to click this and select corresponding letter. Next we set the text display and font color transformation. Select QZI text and set the variable address. Here we need to set the SP address to facilitate the font color setting later. For font color setting, we add three addresses based on SP address. The addresses of the four color variables are all the same, the difference is the key value display, where the address is the hexadecimal of the color. Finally, let's set the variable icon display. First we select the control and set the variable address, and select the icon file generated in advance. Then we need to make a touch control to control the icon switching. Here we choose the incremental adjustment, each time the icon is pressed, the icon will switch. This can also be made into a switch. After all the controls are set, we click save and generate. Then download the Dwin set folder to the screen the SD card.